Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how we can get tick by tick data by using WebSocket. So let's understand what is this tick by tick data. Now you might want to write an algo where you want to keep track of minute second by second update of uh, the price of the stock. If this is the case, then you have to use WebSocket. Now how to do this? So you can go to the documentation uh, and you can visit the section of this WebSocket. And in this, you can read how this works and all. So basically what this WebSocket do is it makes a connection between your computer and the server and server keeps sending you data simultaneously. After every second, tick by tick data keeps coming in. So you can uh, use this data in any way you want in your algo. So to make a WebSocket connection, first you will be needing the access token that we have discussed in our previous session. And you have to import this line six. That is, you have to write from fires api.websocket import ws. So I copied this from the documentation. Okay, this is what uh, they are saying us to do. So we are doing the same thing. After doing this, we will be needing to make a new variable. Okay, I'm naming this variable as new token. This is nothing uh, but my client ID and the access token. Okay, I'm just, uh, just concatenating them uh, by a colon. This is all. Uh, that is, so I got to know this from the documentation itself. Okay, this new token you need to make. After making this new token, you have to make a symbol list. So in this list, you have to write all the stock name that you want tick by tick data of. So right now I'm only uh, having this uh, MCX uh, commodity stock because right now it's night and no other stock is available. And then finally, I'm making the WebSocket object. So how I'm making it, I'm just calling this FireSocket class. And in the class, I'm sending all the required argument. That is, I need the new token and I need the current working directory. So after doing this, now I can finally make a connection. I've finally made an object of, of a WebSocket. Now we can finally make a connection. So before making the connection, you need to make one function. Okay, now in this function, you have to write the code. Uh, the code is go is will, will be responsible for what you want to do once you get the data. Okay, so you can name this function anything. So in this case, I'm naming it on tech and it will take one argument. You can name this also anything and I'm just printing it. So whatever you do in this function, okay, is what will be repeated whenever you get new data from the server. Okay. Now the final part that is making a connection. So first you need to send this function name into your WebSocket data. This is the first thing. Second, you need to subscribe for the data subscribe for the data means for what what stock you know you want continuous data so you want to write it in this line so how you do it you just write symbol equal to uh, the list of all the stocks so in this case this is the list okay i'm only having one stock right now so in this i'm i you just have to send the list name and then finally one default argument that is data type equal to symbol data and lastly you just need to run the keep running function kws dot keep running function this will initiate the websocket connection once the socket is created there is no way to stop this connection okay so if i run this code i cannot really stop you know uh, this code again i just need to restart my entire vs code so you see if i scroll down this is this is the type of data that i'm going to get so instead of running it here what i have done i have made another file that is tick dot py everything is same the only difference is this on tick function so within the on tick function instead of printing the entire tick data I'm just taking all the necessary things. So let me show you what type of uh, data I'm getting. So this is what I'm getting. Okay, it's a list. In this list, I have a dictionary. The first key value pair is symbol and the value is the name of the stock. Then there is a timestamp. It's an epoch time. Then few more things I'm getting. Okay, so by tracing this entire uh, file or the data that I'm getting, I'm just printing the necessary things. Like, you know, I want the name, then I want the last edit price, high, low, and the time. You know, at what time I've received this data. So everything I'm printing it and this function. So what will happen? The moment I run the code, I'll just show you. If I run the code, a connection will be made and I keep getting the data again and again after every second. So you see, this is like 11, 3, 20, 16, 24, 25, 26. In, within a second, I'm getting the data multiple times. Okay, you see 29, 29, 32. So this is how you can uh, make a WebSocket connection and can get tick by tick data. 